Let's try our hand at doing some analysis using pivot tables. To get started, let's return to our preview, click on the pivot table button, and insert it onto a new sheet. On the left, we see our pivot table placeholder, and on the right, we see our pivot table editor. I'm interested in understanding which time of day do we see the most rides. So to do that, I'm going to drag trip start timestamp into my rows, and then I'm going to do a group by using hour of day. Then I'll drag fare into values. Let's make this a, s a count rather than a sum, and then we'll hit apply to run this. So it looks like 18, which is 6 p.m., sees the most taxi rides. Now what if we were to break it out by day of week as well? So let's drag trip start timestamp into columns and do a group by day of week. Now let's hit apply. And this will give us a breakout by both hour of day and day of week. To make this easier to read, let's adjust the number formatting. And then let's apply some conditional formatting. We can use what's called color scale, and we can make the high values green and the low values white. Now we see something else. It looks like during the week, rides are most frequent during the morning and evening rush hour, while on the weekend nights, rides are most frequent into the early hours of the morning. What about the most expensive times for taxis? To do that, let's change from count to average, and we'll see what happens when we hit apply there. Now we see a different pattern. Looks like the most expensive taxi rides are early in the morning, especially on Monday. Perhaps business travelers taking long rides to catch an early business flight. You can make many different kinds of pivot tables using connected sheets. Now, let's jump over to a tab where I see number of rides by payment type. Let's say I wanted to see the top five taxi companies by revenue per payment type. I can simply drag in company, change number of rows from all to five to limit to the top five, I also will then change the sort to sort by sum of fare rather than the default, which is alphabetical. And we'll make it descending rather than ascending to sort from highest to lowest. When I hit apply here, I'll see the top five highest grossing taxi companies per payment type. So these are a few examples of how you can use pivot tables to analyze millions or even billions of rows of data in BigQuery.